There's like nothing on TV that it sucks. <laughs> like nothing, nothing is on TV. Gustav, I like the show. <laughs> you like the show? Yeah. Okay. Stop buying all the grapes. I'm sorry. They're really, really good grapes. Mmm, they are really good. Really like my favorite fruit. Maybe even my favorite food. Yeah, they're definitely up there for me too. Grapes are really good. And what's weird though, is that they're like my favorite food, but I don't even know how they're made. Or how any fruit is made for that matter. You don't know how fruit is made? Allow me to demonstrate. Here's a diagram of a simple flower. Inside the ovary are ovules, and in those ovules are the egg cells. The ovules become fertilized through pollination. Flowers become pollinated when insects or wind carries pollen from one flower to another and the pollen grains land on the stigma. The grains release sperm and the flower becomes pollinated, resulting in the development of seeds. I already know what pollination is. I learned about it in Professor Hammer's natural science class. Be patient. I'm getting to it. After pollination, a pollen tube grows from the pollen through the stigma and connects with the ovule. Two sperm from the pollen tube eject into the embryonic sac, where one of the sperm unites with the egg, and the other sperm unites with the central cell of the sac. From this, a zygote and an endosperm mother cell are created. This process is called double fertilization. Once fertilization has occurred, the ovules develop into seeds, and the ovary starts to ripen into the pericarp, or the flesh of the fruit, like those grapes you've got there. As the ovary can use to ripen, the petals, stamens, and style of the flower fall off. Wait. So when I'm eating grapes, I'm eating ovaries? Yeah, so I guess technically when you're eating grapes, you're eating ovaries. In that case, more ovaries, please!